What is happening, everybody? This is Cody, aka DFS Prodigy, coming to you live right now on this upcoming eight game NBA slate. I just wanted to kind of get the nooks and crannies out. So if I'm having issues, I might pause it in the middle to see if it's still working. But I'm doing this on my new MacBook Air. So again, I wanted to make sure everything was good, but we are here breaking down this eight game slate. I'm excited about it. So before being always the like button for me, definitely subscribe. Let's start out with Chicago at Cleveland or Cleveland at Chicago. On the Cleveland side, Darius Garland is questionable. That's the kind of the big news. If he's out, I'm going to get to a lot of Donovan Mitchell. Um, Evan Mobley is also questionable. So if he's out, I'm going to get to a lot of Kevin Love, surprisingly, at the 4-2 price tag and more of Jared Allen. We could see Karis LeVert slot into the starting role, which I'll, I'll like him also. So we just need to kind of wait and see what's going to happen. On the Chicago side, though, DeRozan's a nice price tag. I like him. Zach Levine had a big game tonight at 7-7. Um, a lot of ownership is going to go to him, but I'm not really going to fall for it. I'm much rather going to go to DeRozan. Vucevic is okay. I mean, Patrick Williams is okay at 4-7. We have other value. Um, so that's kind of the main piece on the Brooklyn and Charlotte game. Though on the Brooklyn side, I do like me some Kyrie Irving and under nine K still. Um, he's too cheap. JJ Warren busted. The one slate I play him. The one slate I play him. He sees nine minutes or nine fantasy points in twenty six minutes. It's just the one slate. So he's obviously going to boom in this in this matchup. Um, Tim Ford Durant. He's not really paying that price tag off. What's kind of scaring me? Claxton is in a good matchup. We know centers versus Charlotte, and we also know centers versus Brooklyn. So Mason Plumley looks good at five nine. PJ Washington looks okay at five seven. No Kelly Oubre, so I'm going to get to a lot of Terry Rozier. Lamelo Ball is in a good matchup as a run back option with Kyrie. Knicks and Houston on the Knicks side. Still no RJ Barrett. If Jalen Brooksons out, I'm going to go to right back to the well in Quigley at five seven. Uh, I'm going to get some miles with Bright as a value at three five. George Hill looks okay at ten one. Um, I like a lot of this next team. On the Houston side, though, um, everybody's pretty much healthy. So Singen, 6,000, I don't trust. Jalen Green, I'm not really getting to it. 6-6. Six, six. KVJ's 7-6 is okay. How much of this is dropped on Jalen Green? But still, Kedja Martin's always a value at 4-1 because he's kind of the uh, Swiss Army knife of the of the team. So he can always play forward. He can play guard. He can play center. He can kind of everywhere. Um, it's kind of how I'm looking on that. But Dallas and San Antonio at Dallas side, big news Luca. He is questionable, but he should be playing, so I don't imagine him not playing. So 12-1, he's obviously a good spin-up. It's Luka. Um, if you get to him, you get to him. If you don't, you don't. It's just kind of you're biting the bullet. Uh, but it is Luka. He's obviously bound to have a booming game. Christian won 8,000, not really getting to him. But he's 6-7, is too overpriced, in my opinion. Tim Hardaway, 5-9, not really getting to. If I had to go to somebody, it would be Dwight Powell. He had a big game. Um, just he, That's kind of a rare game for him, though. It's kind of an outlier game. On the Spurs? Uh, Dem is questionable, so obviously Kel- uh, Kellen Johnson looks good at 7-3. Trey Jones can then see a boost up in minutes, 6,000. So Khan, he's been up and down this season. I'm not really trusting him. Uh, it's just not getting at all to the Spurs team. Philly and OKC on the Philly side. Joel Embiid is smash matchup for him at 11,000. Mott Payne 10 2 for uh, James Harden with Tyrese Maxey back. Um, that's what kind of worries me with Tyrese Maxey is he is back. I just don't really trust him yet. Um, not really getting to twice Harris, not really getting to the rest of the team. That's kind of just Joel Embiid or Bust for me now. Um, on the OKC side, I'm getting a runback option. We want to go with Joel Embiid and SGA. I don't mind that at all um, if you have enough value. Uh, no Poku, obviously, for a long time. So Jalen Williams at 5,000, it's okay. Um, not really trusting the other Jalen Williams at 3.5. Josh Giddy looks okay at 7,000 if you want to get to him. Um, it's just kind of hard to trust in this matchup. The Pelicans and Memphis game on the Pelicans side. No Brandon Ingram, still no LA and Ants. Um, so CJ McCollum is overpriced. Zion is okay at 9-9. I'm much rather just go to other spins. I'm kind of just looking at this team and saying, meh, if they beat me, they beat me. Um, I'm just not getting to a lot. On the Memphis side, kind of a similar story. Desmond Bain's back under 7K is an okay option when he's under 7K. Jaw at 9-8. I'm much rather go to other uh, other spin ups. It's just I'm not really getting to much of this game. Um, Detroit and Minnesota on the Detroit side. No killing Hazel, obviously. I believe he's out for another game. Uh, the next three games for that. Uh, when he knocked out Mo Wagner, I mean, with the punch to the mm, – that was a uh, – mm. so Jaden Ivey, 5'8", uh, looks okay. Bog at 6'3", he's kind of overpriced. Jalen Jordan's always in play now at 5'4". Um, Al Burks is kind of hit or miss on the Minnesota side. Uh, we need to watch the news on Rudy Gobert. If he's out for this game, um, I'm going to get to more Nas Reed at 4'7". Hey, man, let's get a 9'5". And then last game of the slate, Miami at Utah on the Miami side. Jimmy Butler, uh, pretty much everybody's healthy, so that's, I'm not really getting to pay 9-1 for Tyler here when Jimmy Butler's healthy at 9-4. I'm not getting to a lot of this team on the Utah side. Kind of a similar story. I'm not really getting to much. Um, but that kind of wraps the safe for us. Thank you for tuning in. It was a great safe for us tonight. Have a good one, everybody.